Hi, I see you've met my little buddy. His name is Cocolino, but I call him a What's up, bear? It's because he reminds me of something. Do you remember Scary Movie? What's up? What's up? Unfortunately, he can't say that yet, but I'm sure there's something we can do about it. So, let's make it happen. So the plan is to put some electronics together to give the bear a voice. The circuit is fairly simple and anyone can replicate it using the diagram I put in the video description. I also plan to make separate video giving a detailed tutorial on how to do this. I will link that video as soon as it's ready. Feel free to subscribe if that is something that might be of interest to you. The blue rectangular board is a microcontroller. It will read and play the audio. I'm adding a push button which will tell the Teddy to start talking. He will have a few phrases to say which will be stored on a microSD card. I'm trying to make the circuit compact, as all of it will need to fit inside the teddy, so I took my time planning the layout. This little board is actually a card reader, so I have to throw it into the pile as well. But first I need to bend its pins into a more suitable position. This is better. I can now mount the reader flat. So far, everything's looking pretty neat. Let's continue. Any electronics need a power source. I will use a 9V battery, so I can add the battery connectors now. Lastly, I could not do without a speaker. The sound will need to come out from somewhere. Again, it has to sit neatly, so I'm bending it into place. The speaker is quite exposed as is, and Teddy's internals will press against the diaphragm, muting all the sound. But I have a plan. This is a milk bottle cap, as sold in this country. And here's after I punched a few holes and made some cutouts. It's perfect. I will come back to it in a moment. But now I need to take care of a couple of other things. I'm adding a switch to power the teddy on and off. And I'm cutting away the excess Vera board. Now I can secure the speaker guard with some hot glue. And here, I'm using something only MacGyver would dare to use. A can pull tab. It will help the button to be pressed easier through the skin of my teddy. Finally, I can insert a micro SD card to the reader slot, which I left accessible. The card is preloaded with a few phrases from the movie, which will play at random. For obvious reasons I have to censor this part, but I have to get the electronics inside one way or another. This should do, but I don't want to torture the little guy every time I need to flick the switch, so let me install a zipper. That looks much better. What do you think little buddy? Oh yes, it feels fantastic! Thanks my man! You're the best! Hmm, <laughs> I know. Right, let's get you sorted. I need to remove a fair bit of stuffing to make room for the speaker board, but once it's out, the electronics fit beautifully. I just need a battery. And a flick of a switch. And we're done here. Are you all alone? What's that?
Hello, shorty. What are you doing? Get out. What's up? What's up? Yo, pick up the phone. What's up? What's up? Who's that? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Well, that was fun. If you think so too, hit that like button. And unless you want the What's the Bear coming after you next, click the subscribe button as well. Bye for now. What's up?